The Simple Path to Wealth Creating this book has been a long and sometimes stressful process. The emotional roller coaster had me at times depressed, at times foaming at the mouth raving and at times giddy with delight. My wife, Jane, endured it all without stabbing me in my sleep. That there is not an award for this is one of the great shortcomings of our civilization. In short, with all their help, this book is as good as I am able to make it. Any shortcomings, flaws or inaccuracies are entirely mine and very likely result from those few moments when I failed to follow their wise counsel. Thank you for reading it. Forward. There's no shortage of stuff you really should be learning in this world, and no shortage of books about exactly that same stuff. Every bit of knowledge you could ever hope for is already waiting right there in a book somewhere. Or a whole shelf of books. Heck, you could probably fill an entire underground parking garage with all the books that have been written on the subject of investing alone, and still find more pouring out onto the ground when you climbed back out. The problem is that most of those books are boring and you end up setting them down with a bookmark somewhere around page 25, never to return. Even with the best of skills and intentions, I find that the writers of most books about stock investing cannot seem to get it right. They drag it out painfully or write paragraphs so dry and dense that you find yourself rereading the same passage over and over for half an hour while your mind wanders off to more interesting pastures. J.L. Collins takes this old style of investment book writing and disregards it completely. He creates the stuff that your mind wants to run to when it is tired of reading about stocks. Instead of esoteric equations about measuring a stock's alpha and comparing it to its beta, he compares the entire stock market to a large mug of beer and explains why it's still worth buying even when it comes along with an unpredictable quantity of foam. He lights up the campfire and just starts telling stories, and if those stories just happen to be about exactly what you wanted to learn in the first place, your new knowledge is a happy side effect. This is exactly what happened in real life a few years ago, when Jim started writing a series of blog posts on about good investing. I read them all as they came out, and they were so good I started referring my own readers to them. The readers liked them so much they referred others. Their numbers reached the thousands, then the hundreds of thousands. Word kept spreading about the stock series, and still does to this day, because it is something people actually enjoy reading. Sure, the author has the technical chops and demonstrates them well in his own enviable financial life. But readers don't keep coming back just to bask in technical wizardry. They are there to enjoy the fire and hear a good story. I think that amazing response is what motivated Jim to rewrite and expand his great stock series into this even better book. The Simple Path to Wealth is a revolutionary book on stock investing, and good finance in general, because you'll actually read it, enjoy it, and then be able to immediately put the lessons profitably into action with your own money. You'll be relieved to hear that you can be very successful by holding only a single Vanguard fund over your entire lifetime. You can branch out and get a little fancier if you like, but there is nothing to lose, and everything to gain, by keeping things as simple as you can. Although very few people actually follow it, I have found that the road to a wealthy life really is simple and quite enjoyable to follow, so it only makes sense that a book about it should have those same fine traits. This one does. Peter Adini aka. Mr. Money Mustache Colorado, June 2016.